even Google mentioned it during their commercial. Do you remember this? Why would Google be promoting this? As a joke? As a joke? No. We know why. They were panicking. Panicking because the platform they purchased 10 years ago was collapsing with truth. The powers that be would not allow that. As we want to provide users with authoritative, trustworthy... Downs, I, I'm sorry to cut you off. I only have a minute and a half. And I, I, I don't really need to hear what you're trying to provide. I want to know how you're dealing with all these conspiracy theorists on your platform. So the, the first way is by demoting low-quality content and promoting more authoritative content. And the second is by providing more transparency for users. So we're introducing boxes that provide factual information at the top of results that have shown themselves to turn up a lot of information that is counterfactual, such as searching for the Earth is flat on YouTube, where you see a lot of... Your response is to put a box saying, nope, the Earth is not flat. Correct. Okay, so instead of deleting all of the millions of videos we have made, they simply decided to bring in their puppets to reiterate the agenda at stake. We are already sufficiently motivated to invest the necessary resources and people in addressing this threat. You can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> the earth being flat is getting out of control. Can you please help? Can you please help? When you stand on the shoulders of those who came before, you might just see far enough to realize the earth isn't flat. One plus one is? Two. What color is the sky? Blue. And the earth is? Brown. <laughs> just like it is here. <laughs> this book celebrates flat earth theory that is spreading ironically around the world. It's possible roundness. Uh, spinning. <laughs> now they are talking about it. They want you to search for it. Because they already changed their algorithm to be set up in their favor. What is this trash? None of this tells you our side of the story. These are all videos they put together. So you can watch and learn nothing. Nothing that any of us would show you. Like here. Have you ever seen a time lapse of the sun? Does it look like the earth is rotating backwards and the sun is still? Or does it look like our sun is simply moving across our sky, traveling away from your perspective? Again, but with some inversion. You can clearly see the sun, not only decreasing its size, but heading towards its next destination with a slight turn before it disappears from your line of sight. would make sure when you type in flat earth that nothing like this would ever pop up. Many agree the science regarding our sun is far from settled. We're told that the sun is a massive ball of burning gas 93 million miles away. But if that were true, then all the light that arrives here would be parallel because it's so far away. And it has to be parallel because one of the most often cited supposed globe proofs is Eratosthenes' experiment between Alexandria and Syene, by which he calculated the size of the Earth. For that calculation to be accurate, the light must come down parallel. The only problem is that that's not what we see. If you go out on a sunny day with broken cloud, what you'll see is that light comes down at angles, diverging angles. And that means that we can follow those light rays back to the source and triangulate the sun's height above the Earth, proving that the sun isn't millions of miles away. But we can also perform physical experiments that prove that these crepuscular rays, as they're called, can only be recreated with a light source that is small and close. It doesn't take a genius to understand that the further the light source goes up, the more the sun rays would spread out and become parallel. The reason you'd even think that the, sun the Earth was flat, wouldn't it be sunny all the time? Uh, I mean, have they ever even thought about it? Well, if you'd let me finish, the reason you'd even think the sun would be visible from anywhere on Earth is because of the images they have shown you. No one promoting this book stands for truth. You can keep believing in your fantasy gas ball 93 million miles away. You can keep believing in 
your fantasy gas ball. While we keep experimenting to try and figure out what the sun actually is, and how close it could be, with a local hotspot, it should be easy to comprehend that the sun is small and close to you. To put that in perspective, imagine a table two meters wide in a completely dark room and you're holding a, a small but very bright light bulb 3.4 millimeters across and you were holding it about 31 centimeters above the table what you'd see is a circular pool of light directly on the table you know beneath the light bulb but on the other side of the table it would be in darkness now it seems to our mind that um, if you were on the uh, other side of the table, you would see the light because it's you know above the above the table. But that's not true because on that part of the table it's in darkness, meaning that the light isn't physically reaching that part of the tabletop. Your senses. We're also told that the sun sets because as the earth rotates us away from the sun, it's actually obscured by the physical curvature of the earth. That's not what we see. What we see is a local sun that is taking its local light with it. What happened to the horizon glowing across half of the world? Most sunsets are already fading through pollution, dander, chemtrails and fog. Plus, refraction will always make the sun seem like it's going down, as well as your perspective. It would appear to sink down in your field of view. That's perspective. The further away you get from it, the lower it will appear. It doesn't physically change its height. It just appears that way to your eyes until eventually it will disappear behind the horizon formed by your eye's vanishing point. Your eye has an angular resolution of 0.2 degrees. And anything at that height will disappear beyond the limit of your sight.